Do you remember him? No. <laughs> Uh, at CFL because uh, all of us have the same mindset into science and into engineering, into medical. Uh, all of us like would crack science puns at class. Uh, there was this pun that uh, which uh, astronomical uh, object is uh, a teacher's favorite, and the answer is a black hole because it collects the information. So yeah, I don't know if I should say this, but I'll say this nonetheless. Uh, there was a lot of free time at one point in CFL and we used to make paper airplanes and throw it out of like the fourth floor and see whose would go the furthest and there would be like a lot of designs and you know, some people just throwing crumpled up garbage <laughs> that's, that's one thing I remember there are many funny incidents but that's one thing I remember Yeah, that's one There are a lot of things to admire about CFL. This that space of uh, you know uh, people are the, people are trying to push you to the best uh, you can be, and uh, uh, there is a lot of uh, what do you call um, resource. There is a lot of resources. So if you need uh, seniors, seniors will help you. The the teaching is amazing, and you know the peer group is again. Uh, you'll get a lot of people who think like you, like-minded like you. So it'll be a really you know. That will be amazing. I love being among my uh, peer group who helps me in my uh, understanding my basic uh, concepts and uh, helping me to understand better myself and compete with myself better. At CFL, it's mainly the difference is that the atmosphere of uh, students studying. Like you'll have that uh, motivation automatically come inside you when you see other students preparing for uh, excelling in Olympiads. So that's what is the best part about CFL. Yeah, the environment, the peer group, and the teachers, of course. Yeah. I would explain uh, thermodynamics uh, to be another f- form of energy which uh, takes place with the temperature change. Thermodynamics, mm. non-science student. So. It's basically another form of energy, that's all. Energy is, uh, if you take blocks of energy, some kinetic energy will be some kind of blocks and uh, you know, uh, mechanical energy will be some kind of block. And thermodynamics is again study of another different kind of block that is heat and temperature. You're just trying to manipulate it and see, you're just poking it with the stick and seeing what will happen. That's basically thermodynamics. Um, uh, okay, this is how I understand it. It's a study of how uh, atoms vibrate because of heat and the influence they give because of that vibration and it goes into statistical mechanics and uh, some amazing branches i think uh, this it helped me to improve my basics so it helped me to do well in the exams i think and also yeah as he said it helped me understand that there are people better than me so i need to improve myself for every day cfl introduced us to this amazing branch of science and physics and math and uh, we've, uh, in high school this, all this is taught to us but then in cfl it was taken to a different level and yeah it changed part part of our lives i would like to talk about a specific subject like um, in maths, I was very very weak in uh, topics like algebra and uh, coordinate geometry in, when I was in uh, 8th and 9th. I, I was a student for, in CFL from a long time but that time I was uh, very weak but then in 11th and 12th uh, the teachers uh, like guided me properly throughout the, uh, throughout the two years which made me a lot better in both of the subjects. I think reading people's mind would be a great part um, and teleporting. I would uh, like to have a power to teleport because that that will save a lot of time in commuting. <laughs> like you can use that for a good purpose. So. Uh, for me, I think it would be time traveling and being invisible and so I can relive some of the historical moments uh, unseen. Yeah. Probably being invisible. 
and it'd be nice to be invisible for a day not for people not to see what i'm doing and stuff i think yeah the reading minds it'll be it'll be much better easier conversation when you know what the other person is exactly thinking <laughs> probably uh our friends who haven't to join cfl or uh, any other good uh, coaching institute have not enjoyed learning uh, because they in high school learning is introduced as something uh, that you by heart and you score marks and i think that that's one aspect that they miss out i think uh, mostly i mean people in cfl are more determined to um, you know do something or achieve something i mean i think others are that way too but we might be more determined i think in cfl there was this time where we you will get uh, a chance to figure out what you want to do in the sense that you will really get to know what you want to do and uh, there, there are some people who at the end of two years of this you won't know what you are trying to do at all you will have no direction itself it's like in cfl provides that direction you know it, 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 wherever you have fun you can go there and do stuff this foundation makes a lot of difference uh, you should have a clear foundation of uh, basic understanding of what you want to do this is in sense that if you have a you know a very weak foundation the, the more further you go the more uh, you know you won't understand what's going on at all and un- unless you know the basics in the sense foundation is very important like uh, i would say uh, i'll give an example of let's say let's take physics for example you directly cannot start from somewhere like rotations right like um, in uh, when i was in i was in cfl in 6th so they slowly started to teach us kinematics and then work for energy which is all like the building blocks for rotation without those stuff uh, we cannot study rotation it will be really hard and most of the uh, students struggle in rotations because of their fundamentals not being clear so that's what, that was taught really well in uh, cfl which eventually let us to get a good rank in mains and advanced it's very important uh if you feel like giving up your peer group will encourage you if you feel like slowing down your peer group will uh, motivate you and so yeah and you get uh, an idea of all the comp- all the competitive competitions uh, after second pc for example that you need to write and your peer group will keep you informed about when the registration starts uh, what material you, uh, you have to like refer to prepare for it and everything like that peer group was the best part i think they motivated us at least when you're feeling like you want to give up or something they push you to work harder and the teachers are also really good given that we had covid and all and we had online classes they really did their best to help us do good in the exams